We live in deeply uncertain times. There's no getting around it. Dorothy and Nicholas Wadham, the founders of our college, also lived in deeply uncertain times in which political and religious ground was constantly shifting underneath them. But their spiritual and moral compass was very firmly set, firmly set on the person and teaching of Jesus Christ, which gave meaning and purpose to their lives. And they chose to dedicate their treasure and time not to self-interested pursuits, but to the building of something that would benefit others and that would last. And that is us, Wadham College. And the Wadhams would have understood exactly what we're going through right now. The fear, anxiety, uncertainty, illness, suffering, even death. Pandemic disease was an ever-present reality for people who lived in early modern Europe. Bubonic plague erupted in periodic and devastating waves throughout England in the 16th and 17th centuries. Plague sl swept through the West Country where the Wadhams lived from 1590 to 92, killing thousands. Working its way across Southern England, it reached London in 1592. And by the end of 1593, over 20,000 people had died in London and its environs. Plague reappeared in 1603, 10 years before our chapel was consecrated. And it's estimated that over a quarter of the population of London and environs perished. James I, whose image watches over us as we walk into the front quad above the Wadhams, issued a book of orders to try to manage the outbreak, to try to curb the spread of the disease and to help the sick, the bereaved, the suffering and the destitute. Some of the measures he decrees sound uncannily familiar from our own lockdown experience. So our situation is not, in fact, unique in historical perspective. Suffering, fear, anxiety, death, and disease are an inescapable part of being human. But still, in the midst of it all, people have kept faith. The Wadhams, even in the midst of shifting politics and recurring pandemic, still saw beyond themselves to hope for the future and to build for the good of others. And we, as their heirs and beneficiaries at Wadham, can do no less. That first Easter morning, Mary Magdalene had every reason to believe that everything was hopeless, that there was no future, that everything she and the other disciples had been dreaming and planning was dead. But still, she kept faith. She went to the tomb to mourn, to honor the memory of her crucified Lord, and to see whether anything needed doing for his body in the tomb. But what a surprise she had. There in the garden was Jesus, alive, risen, death was conquered, and life was not only restored, but transformed. Like Mary walking to the garden that morning, keeping faith, we also do the little things. Every walk we take outside, every bag of groceries we bring to someone who is self-isolating, every letter we write or call we make to cheer and encourage someone else, even every page we manage to get revised is a small victory this pandemic tide. Small but significant. A triumph of hope over despair, of love over fear aligning our compass with values that endure. Dorothy and Nicholas Wadham expect no less from us. As we begin this odd and disorienting Trinity term, let us remember their spirit and be true to their vision. Even dispersed across the globe, we are still a community, a scholarly community of learning, teaching, and research, each serving in our own way, working together for the good of all. A pandemic will only strengthen our determination and stimulate our creative intelligence to find solutions so we do not lose heart. Lots of Wadham love to everybody. Amen. <laughs>